Hey everybody, so about a year and a half, maybe even two years ago, I made a video talking about how to change the profile picture of somebody on your Ancestry.com tree. Since I made that video, um, Ancestry's done a complete redesign of their website and how your trees look. It's a completely new interface. So I thought I would make a little updated video to show you how to change the profile picture of somebody now. It took me a little while to figure out how to go about doing it, but then once I finally saw how to do it, it was kind of right in front of me the entire time. So I'll walk you guys through it. So here is my tree uh, right here. This is just a tree that's uh, a work in progress. It's not the one I primarily use, but it's one that I tinker around with and, and make some changes before I adjust the primary tree that I use. So let's take a look at this picture or excuse me, profile right down here of Audrey. And to change the profile picture, I'm gonna go ahead and click on her name or her picture, either one, and it's gonna give me this brief little pop-up. And then this brief little pop-up, it usually says the birthday, um, the death date, and some more information uh, if you filled it out for that ancestor. But to change the profile picture, I'm actually gonna click her name and that's gonna take us to the profile page. Once I'm in the profile page, you can see up at the top, it's kind of that snapshot window that popped up at the beginning. And I'm gonna go ahead and click her picture. Before I click her picture to change that though, I'm just gonna click on the gallery and show you guys that there's other pictures uh, loaded in for her. It gives you the option to upload a picture, which I'll show you in just a second, but I found it easier if you've already uploaded and attached the pictures to the person. So again, to change the profile picture, I'm just going to click on the image and then it's going to give me this drop down list. So I can either view the profile image, resize the profile image, choose a new profile image or remove it. So in this case, I'm going to choose the profile image and you see it's going to pop up with that same list of pictures that's already uploaded. Now, if I was to select one of the other ones, uh, you can see view profile image just opens it up in a larger view screen gives you some information about the original picture but let's go back and we'll just change this picture real quick so I'll click here and then click choose profile image and then let's say I will select this one right here now once you select the new profile image you want to use it gives you this little resize box and here you can resize the picture so that way it'll crop accordingly or you can click use full size image. I recommend that you keep the crop ratio like it's shown here and you crop in on just the face just so it keeps a consistent look all throughout your tree but again that's completely up to you what you want to do. So once you've selected the aspect ratio and scaled it to how you want you're just going to click the green done button in the top right and then you can see that your profile image has um, automatically been changed and updated for you. Now if we go back to the tree on a whole viewpoint level, you can see that that change has been made site-wide. So I hope that helped you out and gave you a little bit of um, a better explanation on how to do this with the new Ancestry update. Let me know if you want to see some tutorials on some other aspects of the new website and I'll see what I can do. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.